Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know about a, a lot of you, but uh, anyone that knows me definitely knows that uh, I'm a pretty extreme kind of thinker. I definitely, I definitely like to take things out to the to the final point when I when I like to think about different topics or different subjects. I definitely try and get a, a very broad overview and uh, look with the the widest lens possible. So if that means extrapolating out into the future uh, quite a long way, then that's something that I, I generally do. It's something that I will sit around and, and think about. So this video today, I wanted to talk about something that I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about, something that occupies my thoughts quite a lot. Uh, it's, it's got to do with kids or future kids, as I don't have any now. But that's something important to me. I feel a big responsibility once that time does come. And I do want to do the job right. So it's, it's something, as I said, I've thought about quite extensively and extrapolated out into the future. Uh, I, as I think, uh, I, like to, I like to kind of boil down my thoughts and, and get them as refined and sometimes as pointed as possible. So in this case, it's no different. But I thought the, the best way to, to talk about it on this video would be to, to basically let you know and explain what I feel is the number one lesson, if I could only teach my kids, I, I think about it as I said in an extreme way, uh, I've thought about if I could only teach my kids one lesson and no matter what else I said in my life, they wouldn't listen. I thought about what that would be and uh, I'm going to share it today. So as we all know, as human beings, we are going to make mistakes throughout the course of our lives. Some people more often than others, but it's something unavoidable. There is no such thing as a perfect human being. There is no such thing as a person who doesn't make mistakes or doesn't, doesn't fuck up. It just doesn't happen. With that being said, if I could only teach my kids one thing, given that fact, I feel personally, and I feel it deep, deeply, that the way that a human being handles their mistakes in life defines them as a human, defines them as a man, defines them as a woman, and will define the way that the people in their lives, their friends and their family, look at them, love them and respect them or the opposite. And uh, I feel very strongly about that. So to explain a little bit further, as I mentioned, if I am teaching my kids one lesson and there's only one thing that will sink into their heads amongst all the other things that I teach them in their life, they can think I'm a complete crazy man, I can, they can completely ignore everything that I ever say, but I feel that if they were to internalize this one lesson, and live their lives by it, then I would have been able to internalize a lesson in them that would lead them to be great human beings, or at least people that are very loved by the people around them. And that's more or less when it gets down to it, that's the, the main thing in life. That's the most important thing. So first of all, accept, accept that you're going to make mistakes. Accept that to yourself. It's important to not beat yourself up too much you know, self-reflection is important, but you don't want to spend too much time thinking about uh, mistakes that you've made or mistakes that you're possibly going to make. But the second thing being, when you do make a mistake, when you do, you need to accept it and own up to it. That's the first step. And then the next step is the most important part, because you have to make up for that mistake in the absolute best way that you know possible. If you've broken something of someone else's, you need to replace it or fix it, if that's, if that's a possibility. If you've stolen, if you've hurt someone, you need to apologize, you need to return the product, and the list goes on. A very practical way of making up for the mistake, is, is that's your next course of action. You have to do that. If you want that person to, to stand by you and to, to look up to you or to respect you, then you need to do that. But then possibly even the more important part follows. And that is, you need to promise, make a, make a sworn oath to yourself and to that person, both as important as each other, that you will not do that again. And when you make that promise, you have to follow through. So if you've broken something of someone's, if you've hurt in their feelings, if you've hurt in, is that even a word? <laughs> um, whatever, the, whatever the mistake that you made is, however bad, you have to promise yourself that you won't do that again and you need to promise that person and they need to believe you. And the way they're gonna believe you is by backing up what you say. So when you do make that mistake, you can't make it again. 
what, whatever it is, if you've if you didn't follow somebody's instructions, which led to them, you know, getting getting fired or getting caught by someone doing something they shouldn't have been doing, or if you've broken some property of some other person, then you need to make sure that whatever the activity was that you that led you to break that thing doesn't occur again. If you've hurt somebody's feelings, if you've done something inconsiderate, then you need to promise that person that you won't do it again, and you need to follow through with that. You can't make the same mistake again. Um, I say that, and I think I'll close with this because I, I really feel I really feel strongly that the most despicable type of person is the person who really doesn't have any basis on their word. They can promise you over and over and over and over again that they're going to do something or that they're not going to do something. More importantly, in some cases, and they continue to do it. They just continue to do it, whether it's lying, whether it's stealing, whether it's cheating, whatever it is. That's really, to me, it's a really it's a really characterless type of person. And I feel that I definitely don't want those people in my life. So bringing it back to the main point, when it comes to my kids, if I, if I could instill that lesson in them and they could really internalize it and practice it in their lives, I feel like my kids would turn out to be people that I wanted to be around, whether I had the choice or not. But more importantly, everyone else in their lives would want, would want to be around them too. And uh, I think that's really important. Just owning up for our mistakes and making up for our mistakes and then promising ourselves and the people around us that they will not do that again. So let me, let me know your thoughts about it. Uh, as I said, maybe it comes off a little bit weird that I think about things so finally, but I, I feel like I get some, some pretty good lessons out of that. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's a pretty important lesson. Maybe you guys have thought about something different that, that is equally as important. I'm always, as always, uh, happy to hear it.